for Monday, December the 9th, 2013. For those of you that clicked on this video uh, with it not having a very uh, sensationalized title uh, to draw your attention to this, um, as we sit in the comfort and the warmth of our home, while we look out the window at the cold and the snow, there's a crisis right here on the home front. In the United States of America, there are people living as if it was a third world country. I want you to take a look at this precious child. Now, the title to the article, I'm going to put the link below, is Invisible Child. And part one of what I believe is a five-part uh, series on the invisible child. There are a lot of invisible children right here in the United States of America who are on the street, who are living with their parents, uh, cuddled up uh, in a hallway somewhere of a vacant house. Uh, and they are in need and they are in danger. And I just want to draw your attention to the need. We, brothers and sisters, are disciples. And we are to go out and be the salt of the earth that we were called to be. To be disciples. To reach out to the poor. A very, very large majority of the homeless right here on the streets of the United States of America are born again Christians. We are to take care of them. I just want to show you around this precious, beautiful, beautiful, precious little child. We can't have this in this country. Brothers and sisters, we are born again and covered in the blood of Christians. We've got to come to the rescue of these invisible children. I want to show you around a little bit. I'll put the link below. She wakes to the sound of breathing. The smaller children lie tangled beside her, their chests rising and falling under winter coats and wool blankets. A few feet away, their mother and father sleep near the mop bucket they use as a toilet. Two other children share a mattress by the rotting wall where the mice live, opposite the baby whose crib is warmed by a hair dryer perched on a milk crate. Brothers and sisters, while we sit in the warmth and comfort of our home, one and when the next catastrophic event is going to take place, Take a moment, open up your Bible, be a disciple, this precious, beautiful child, invisible child, girl in the shadows, Dasani's homeless life. Got to meet this need, brothers and sisters. It's not about us. It's all about him. It's not about the next catastrophe. It's not about the next asteroid or meteor or comet. It's about the children, the families that have become invisible to all of us. TrumpetofGodMinistries.com. I'll put the link below.